Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into the love you gave me. We're diving into episode 25. It's been a little while since I watched episode 24, but my goal is to hopefully finish out the rest of this series here today because it's been a long journey, and I got lots of other things I want to react to, and... Yeah, we, we just shouldn't put this off anymore. So we're entering the final act of the series. Plans are being made. Lots of background deals are being made. And we just have to see how everything plays out. So let's dive in and see how everything plays out. Okay, so again, this is probably like the third or fourth time throughout watching the series where I've said, I imagine that there was going to be this problem that was presented in the series, and I imagine it was going to take longer to resolve. Um, so in my head, this whole bid for the company, that was to the end of the series. We were going to ride this arc to the end of the series. We had four episodes left. We we're going to ride it, and maybe episode 27 might have resolved that issue, but 28, like, I thought we were going to ride that till the end. And again, just boom, they're presenting these problems and resolve it, knock out of the park. I'm like, okay. Granted, it did present us with another problem that we have to um, overcome, which may or may not take us to the end of the series, or maybe they'll resolve this issue next episode and we'll have something else to fill up the last couple episodes. Don't know. But yeah, I I liked the plan they had, and it, it seemed as though it would have been successful um, to use their whole spy technology against them and, you know, just kind of lay a little trap like, okay, here's the bid that we're going to give and just kind of lowball it. I might have lowballed it a little more. I might have done like maybe because what well, they say they're due 1.29 billion, but they act well. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's far enough away from what they actually could bid, but still, he said that he was going to bid about 1.25. They didn't know that, but if they had said like okay, their max that they can acquire is like 1.27. 1.28, maybe 7. Like, that still would have been more than they had planned to spend, but they still have that within their budget, and maybe they may not have... not have, you know, tried so hard or, you know, suspected so hard that hmm, something might be amiss. Let me actually double-check with some. Let me go bribe some people. Maybe he would have anyways, but, you know, me living in my optimistic world, maybe not. So it was like... Because the second um, they were listening to a recording and his mistress was like, um, 1.3, isn't that all that we have? Blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting here thinking, ooh, 1.3, that is dangerously close to the 1.29 that they said they were going to bid. And in my head, I'm like, oh, since this is a series, I could see them maybe jumping to a conclusion. They might know that our limit is 1.3 and we might not want to use all of our limits. So they're trying to push as close to our limit as possible so they might have insider information all that kind of stuff so i'm like maybe just to keep things a little bit more safe i would have lowballed a little bit more but you know whatever it doesn't matter they found out the information the actual bid and they outbid them which i guess the tactics that they used could potentially i don't know if it's something that would invalidate the the whole bid um, system, the whole auction of the company, because the way um, Cheng's um, father-in-law was talking and the way he was talking to his father-in-law, it's like, you know, don't worry. Um, I've, 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 you know, these details won't get out. I've made sure that they're hidden, this, that, the other. And his father-in-law's like, because if it, if it gets out, this could ruin everything. I don't know if that means like it would just ruin the t reputation of the company itself or if that would I mean his wife was even like oh that's illegal blah 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 so since it's illegal at least in this scenario I don't know if that would again invalidate the 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 auction and then the auction would get turned over to you know our team that we want to win um, I don't know if that's the case or if it's just a bad look but 
either way, he's his father-in-law is going to announce tomorrow in the series, which I don't know if tomorrow has already happened. I lost track of where time was at this particular point. Um, but he was going to announce relatively soon that he's stepping down and that he, he's naming his son-in-law to be the new chairman. Uh, but he's like, even if you are chairman, I will cut you off. So don't don't fuck up you sunk all of our money into this one project and this one thing i told you not to do don't you ever sink all of our money um so we just have to figure out a way to get the proof that they did some underhanded tactics to find out what our bid was um and i think Jean C is already working on this plan he's going through the mistress looking into her because she she holds the keys to the castle in a sense she holds the key to basically his undoing um and like i keep saying i said in this episode i've said in multiple episodes back he needs to be careful of the way he is treating her like hey if you're not going to treat your mistress right hey well hey i mean don't have a mistress but like if you're not gonna treat her right if you don't want to like have some sort of relationship with her if you don't want to be with her this that the other don't have her as a long-term mistress. I guess she has been very useful, but like, girl, you are playing with fire because hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. So you keep pushing her and you keep pushing her and you keep pushing her. She is bound to break and she's about to break all your secrets out of her little safety, out, out, out of her little safe. So I keep telling him to calm down. So Jin C realizes she is a valuable person right here. She is the key to his undoing. Let's go this route. So we'll see how long it takes them to either break her and get her to spill the beans or get something out of her that they'll be able to use to take down um, Cheng, um, who is just a despicable human person. I don't know why all these fine men got to be so awful and evil like lord he is fine as hell um was it yifong the other director who thought he was helping with the all his spyware he fine as hell too he's just a scumbag in the series and i can't find myself attracted to him but like if he didn't talk and do anything in the series he if he were just an extra he fine as hell so i'm like why all these fine ass men gotta be just awful human beings i don't know um what else? We had Dr. Zhao finally find some way to reach um, Zishu. And thank God, because like I was getting so irritated with her at this point. So I'm like, girl, we have been on this train, this playing hard to get bit far too long it was cute at first it was cute like okay i'm gonna make him feel some type of way just to make myself feel a little bit better i'm gonna play a little hard to get like yes okay it's cute get your little satisfaction but after a while i'm like you clearly want this to happen we've seen it a number of times where you clearly want him to pursue you you want some sort of relationship or something with this man so please just give in already please you have put him through enough i'm tired of watching this exchange so finally he found a way to reach her in his drunken stupor um and like i said maybe she just need to, needed to hear it from him drunkenly because drunk people tend to be very honest because the alcohol inhibits their, you know, their thought processes and whatnot. And they don't necessarily have all the capacity to think up these intricate lies and whatnot. They tend to be very unfiltered and just blah. At least I know I am. Um, so maybe she just needed to hear it from a very unfiltered Dr. Zhao to realize that, oh, he's actually telling the truth. He's not just saying this because he feels bad. He's not just saying this to cover his tracks or make it up to me. He, this is really how he feels. And they had a beautiful first kiss moment uh, while she was, you know, on her stage dancing. And he, he, I don't know who he talked to, but got them to work the spotlight and the confetti and the spinning and the camera. It was beautiful. Love to see it. So all three of our ships are now sailing. Um, sailing well and i'm happy about that so there shouldn't be any more romantic issues in this series um so now it should be just all about dealing with cheng director cheng um 
who's basically out here holding Min Hui hostage by threatening her team and torturing them and firing them and this, that, the other, which again, I would not walk into any room where a conversation with that man was about to happen without having my cell phone or something else recording at all times. Because like, my God, there's so many things he says that I, I could, I, Put it on the internet and just ruin this this man's reputation. Ruin this despicable, disgusting co corporation head man's reputation because he, he's been an asshole and he deserves it. Um, and who knows? Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Maybe she was just flexing her acting skills there with, you know, the whole anger stuff and, you know, taking, you know, taking back the resignation note. I don't think she did, but that would be a nice little twist if she did. Um... But yeah, what were his reasonings behind holding her hostage? Not sure. Is it because he still has this attraction to her and he's trying to sway her or trying to seduce her or force himself on her again just to get his ass kicked again? Maybe. Um, or maybe he's just doing it out of like spite, petty vengeance or whatever. Like, okay, you hurt my feelings or whatever. So now I'm just going to take it out on you. It makes me don't know. Um, but yeah this was this was an, a very good interesting episode and we've only got three episodes left um so i'm going to stop talking so i can get to the next one i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love ya Mwah. Together there's nothing